Psalm 84. O oh, Amabel, at thy tabernacle, O Lord of hosts, my soul longeth, yea, even fainted for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow are founded, found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altar. O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee. Blessed is the man whose strength is in is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well. The rain also filleth the pool. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. <clears throat> o Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give air, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, your shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy court is better than a thousand, and I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tent of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk it uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusted in thee. The, whole, the Old Testament reading comes to us from the book of 1 Kings, chapter, chapter 8, verses 22 to 30. And then we will have, that will be followed by the New Testament reading from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 16, not 116. And that will be read by Miss Sasha Morrison. Testament reading, 1 Kings, chapter 8, 22, verse 22 to 30. And Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands toward heaven. And he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven above or on earth beneath, who keepeth con con covenant and mercy with thy servants that walk before thee with all their heart. Who has kept with thy servant David, my father, that thou promised him, mm. thou speakest also with thy mouth, and hast fulfilled it with thine hand, as it is this day. Therefore now, Lord God of Israel, keep with thy servant David, my father, that thou promisest him, saying, there shall not fail there shall not fail thee a man in my sight to sit on the throne of Israel, so that thy children take heed to their way, that they walk before me as thou hast walked before me. And now, O God of Israel, let thy word, I pray thee, be verified, which thou spakest unto thy servant David my father. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee, how much less this house that I have built. Yet have thou respect unto the prayer of thy servant, and to, the, and to his supplication, mm. O Lord my God, to hearken unto the cry, and to the prayer which thy servant prayeth before thee to, today, thou, that thine eyes may be open toward his, this house, night and day, even toward the place of which thou hast said my name shall be there, that thou mayst hearken unto the prayer which thy servant shall make toward this place. 
and hearken thou to the supplication of thy servant and of the people of Israel, when they shall pray toward this place, and hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and when thou hearest, forgive. Amen. Um, New Testament, or New Testament lesson is from Ephesians 4, verse 1 to 16. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one and another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, the led, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower part of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statute of fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind and doctrine, by the slave of men and cunning craftiness whereby they, lay, they, lay, they lie in wait to be deceived. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies be according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body and unto the edifying of itself in love. This is the word of the Lord. So I'll ask Reverend Charles to join my wife here. He just stepped in. I know that Music is the food of the soul, and this this uh, thing decided not to work. And uh, we have the musician here, and uh, we have another musician that is coming. We hope he he gets here before the service is over. But we will continue to make melody with our mouths and in our hearts to Almighty yes. God. So let's join our voices again and sing the, one of the immortal hymns of the church. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. I invite you to stand. Mm -hmm. 